Shepard 2 MBT. For much of the Cold War, it fell upon NATO and the West to match wits against the latest Soviet combat tank slash main battle tank MBT offering. At the end of the 1960s, the US Army had in its stable the capable M60 Patton MBT while the West Germans made use of their first post-World War II tank design, the excellent Leopard 1 MBT. However, it became apparent that, within time, upcoming Soviet tank designs would wield ever greater power to counter any interim Western proposal current available. The Soviet T-62 and its 115mm smooth bore main gun prompted the original M60 and Leopard 1 developments and, if the Cold War were ever to go hot, the land war would surely be run through West Germany and involve all of NATO's major players intent on stopping Soviet armor the Soviets managing East Germany at this time. Almost as soon as the M60 established a foothold in the US Army inventory in the early to mid-1960s, the US Army began looking at prospects for a next-generation MBT, joining forces with the like-minded West Germans in developing such a new vehicle to meet the future demands of each respective army. It was expected that the new endeavor would produce a viable end product in 1978. The resulting joint program, therefore, became the MBT-70 of fiscally sound, technologically advanced combat tank with excellent performance, mobility, protection and firepower. As the program proved highly ambitious from the beginning, the endeavor was quickly fractured. There were already early disagreements on the selection of a main gun. The Americans favored the British L7 105mm system as used on the M60 Patton while the West Germans were eager to field a new Rheinmetall L44 120mm gun to counter the expected Soviet 125mm guns. A consensus was then reached on an unproven but powerful 152mm main gun system that could also fire a short-ranged anti-tank missile as in the M551 Sheridan tank. Program costs then ballooned, largely owed to the high degree of untested technology being applied to the new design. This prompted the Germans to leave the program in 1969 while also drawing the ire of the American Congress who were already dealing with a costly war in Vietnam. With the Germans gone, the Americans attempted to go at it alone though, after a financial review of the program, the MBT-70 was officially cancelled outright by the overseeing US Department of Defense, this occurring in January of 1970. In response, the US Army attempted to sell Congress on the simplified version. The MBT-70 AB austere version but this initiative lasted all but one year until its own cancellation in December of 1971. The US Army then went to work on a lower risk program which eventually became the excellent M1 Abrams main battle tank. At the same time, West Germany was already at work on a new indigenous design of their own to improve upon the aging Leopard 1 series. Design of this new tank was charged to Krauss Maffei of West Germany, designers and builders of the original Leopard 1. The project grew from the Kampfpanzer 2 to the Kyler Wild Boar and, finally, to the rather unimaginative name of Leopard 2 assigned in 1971. Military analysts and engineers were not blind to events of the world. The Yom Kippur War was closely being watched as war raged between Israel and her Arab neighbors. Prior to the conflict, 
Many predicted the extinction of the main battle tank as a primary battlefield component but this Middle East conflict proved just the opposite while new battlefield dangers emerged such as guided missile threats. As such, Krauss Mapai modified their prototypes with the experience garnered and Yom Kippur War in the end result became a formidable 55-ton vehicle with improved armor protection. Prototypes were constructed featuring both the British L7 105mm main gun as in the Leopard 1 and the new German Rhine metal 120mm main gun and these were completed between 1972 and 1974. With the Americans still in need for an MBT to complement their outmoded M60S, there continued an internal effort to formulate an indigenous solution leading to the XM1 prototype. However, during its development, there was forced consideration given to the Leopard 2 dating back to an agreement signed between West Germany and the United States in December of 1974 inches which the countries would jointly manufacture a new combat tank. For the time, this would have made fiscal and logistical sense, particularly in the realm of the NATO inventory where ammunition, parts and training could all be shared. However, it was almost a moot point from the beginning for a foreign designed and developed main battle tank would never realistically stock the inventory of the US Army. Regardless, the US Army acquiesced and West Germany delivered the modified Leopard 2 feeding the L7 105mm main gun, the same gun as selected for the XM1 prototype. This tank was further known as the Leopard 2 austere version AV. Despite a favorable and sometimes superior showing in tests when facing off with the XM1, the Americans still naturally favored their homegrown design citing its lower operating weight and less expensive long-term operating costs. In fact, the XM1 was already slated for serial production as the finalized M1 even before the US Army was forced to test the modified Leopard 2 tank. As such, the Germans formally withdrew hope of their Leopard 2s from ever stocking the US Army inventory in January of 1977 and the XM1 eventually became the M1 Abrams of 1980. The US Army did agree, however, that cross-utilization of components should be used where possible in their new tank. Back in September of 1977, satisfied with the prototype development and subsequent evaluations, the West German Army ordered their first serial production batch of Leopard 2 tanks to number 1,800 examples over five batches. The first vehicles began deliveries to West German units in 1979 and several other interested European parties soon joined in its purchase, this to include the Netherlands and Switzerland. The Dutch army became the first foreign customer of the excellent Leopard 2 and placed an order of 445 strong in 1979. This was followed by the Swiss with an order for 380, 345 of these to be locally produced under license and the rest coming from West Germany. The Dutch order was fulfilled in its entirety by the end of 1986. Tight Cold War budgets initially placed procurement of the Leopard 2 out of reach of most interested parties but the arrival of new upgraded variants led to many second-hand units becoming available. Many, therefore, came straight from West German Army and Royal Netherlands Army stocks. At its peak usage, the Royal Netherlands Army themselves managed some 445 Leopard 2 tanks before budget constraints forced their sell-off. To this end, 
the tank ended up seeing operational service with Austria, Canada, Chile, Finland, Greece, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Singapore, Spain, Sweden and Turkey during its still going operational tenure. Possible future operators as of this writing, in 2012 one day include both Indonesia and Saudi Arabia. Specifications for the Leopard 2 MBT main battle tank, country of origin, Germany manufacturer, Kraus Maffei Wigmann. Kruppnack, West Germany slash Germany initial year of service, 1979 production. 3500 focus model Leopard 2A6 crew for overall length 31.73 feet 9.67 m width 12.14 feet m height 8.14 feet 2.48 m weight 60.8 US short tons 55150 kilograms 121,585 pounds power plant, 1x MTU. Ka 501 4 stroke 12 cylinder. Liquid cooled turbocharged diesel with an output of 1,500 horsepower at 2,600 RPMs. Maximum speed, 45 mph 72 km per hour maximum range. 342 miles 550 kilometers NBC protection, yes night vision, yes, passive. Armament. Early, 1x 120mm Rhine Metal L44 smoothbore main gun 1x 7.62mm MG301 coaxial machine gun 1x 7.62mm MG301 anti-aircraft machine gun 2x 8 smoke grenade dischargers Leopard 2 a 6 and later, 1x 120mm Rhine Metal L55 smoothbore main gun 1x 7.62mm MG301 coaxial machine gun 1x 7.62 mm MG301 anti-aircraft machine gun 2x8 smoke grenade dischargers ammunition 42x 120 mm projectiles 4750x 7.62 mm ammunition 16x smoke grenades variants Leopard 2 Base production model 380 units produced Leopard 2A1 Second production model Revised fuel filters Redesigned ammunition holders Thermal sight for gunner Leopard 2A2 Early production Leopard 2s and 2A1S brought up to new accepted standard with some subtle changes introduced Leopard 2A3 Digital radios introduced Leopard 2A4, automatic fire suppression system installed. Computerized fire control system. Leopard 2A5, narrow pinched turret design. Improved armor. All electric turret. Improved ammunition options. Commander's thermal imaging site. Rear driving camera for driver. Improved laser range finder. Leopard 2A5 E Espana Spanish license production Leopard 2A5S Leopard 2S, Swedish Leopard 2A5 Increased frontal, side and roof armor New laser ray finder Celsius command and control system STRV-122, formal Swedish army designation of Leopard 2A5 Leopard 2A6, new Rhine Metal 120mm L-55 main gun. Improved armor. Leopard 2E- improved armor protection designed jointly by Germany and Spain. Leopard 2A6X, improved Leopard 2A6. Auxiliary power unit installed. Leopard 2A6 Hell, Greek army version of the Leopard 2A6 Mark. Leopard 2A6M, improved mine protection variant. Leopard 2A6M can, Canadian version of the Leopard 2A6M. Leopard 2A7, appearing in 2010. Modular armor. 
Improve battlefield survivability. Improved RPG and mine protection. Remote weapons station. Leopard 2 PSOP support operations urban warfare variant. Improved protection from RPG and mines. Shorter main gun barrel. Camera systems. Searchlight. Additional weapon station on turret roof. Burger Panzer BPZ-3 Buffalo Armored Recovery Vehicle Panzer Schnellbruck 2 Mobile Bridge Launcher Pioneer Panzer 3 Kodiak Combat Engineering Vehicle Leopard 2L Bringelayer Leopard 2L Mine Clearing Vehicle Farshell Panzer Driver Training Vehicle Sands Turret Instructor Cab Set in Turret's Place Leopard 2 minus 140, proposed Leopard 2 armed with 140 mm main gun. Auto loader would have reduced the crew to 3 personnel. Operators. Austria. Canada. Chile. Denmark. Finland. Germany. Greece. Netherlands. Norway. Poland. Portugal. Singapore. Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Turkey.